love Capricorn. This is Tara at Elevate, here to channel a weekly reading with the Cascadia Tarot deck for this last week of November uh, 2024. Uh, if you don't have to be a Capricorn to join me in this reading, let's go ahead and uh, see what we get on the split to begin. can be enjoyed with anyone at any time things everything all that stuff is very fluid you know <laughs> eight of pentacles showing up here as outside energy capricorn outside energy what about capricorn's energy on the split is the nine of cups the nine of cups and uh what about outside what do we get for outside in the reverse is the higher font the higher font and um, in the past was the Page of Cups, Page of Cups. So, looks like uh, Thanksgiving's at your place, is it uh, Capricorn? That's what it looks like. Everybody's coming over to your house for this gathering this weekend, this week. Things like this, you have to get all ready. <laughs> And uh, in this getting ready is uh, going to market, taking your own stuff to market, to sell, to trade, to get uh, your basket full again, to take it home. Yes, but you're not going to take that uh, stuff to market to a big market. This will be to the little um, farmer's market where you're going to need to be get collecting, trading your goods for some other goods so that uh, this gathering that can be held at your house. Looks like in the past um, you may have had offspring and uh, this offspring is now returning home to uh, make this uh, festival even bigger something like this being discussed for our Capricorns I'm going to get a clarifier for everything here have a king of cups or I'm sorry yes the king of cups showing up you have the page of swords in reverse or not the page excuse me the queen of swords in reverse have the fool card here showing up with this um, outside energy and we do have the ten of pentacles so um, this week people better just watch out uh, what uh, you're you're all wanting to achieve for this gathering right <laughs> You're going to be slicing and dicing in the kitchen and slicing and dicing of who's coming uh, to the house, who's going to be allowed in for this gathering, and uh, also, yes, who are the guests? It's not going to be the guests from a big institution. It's not going to be, it's going to be people that make you feel happy, people that uh, you're comfortable with, right? It's not going to be people and things that you're that are filled too big you want to keep it small the smell of celebration of those that are only needed need to come to this table and then we can celebrate in abundance here it's a celebration in the family it's a celebration with the friends that are close to you maybe 10 people only at this table Ten dishes to shine, to wax, and to eat from. There may be one person you have to contain with to um, keep them maybe just a little bit under control, or maybe that person isn't coming, something like this being discussed, because you want to enjoy, you want to relax. You know what you like, you know where to get the things that you like, you know who you want to celebrate with. Even in the past, you put out these things, what you like in life. That's why you're going to celebrate now with the people that you want, not with the big crowd, with the people that you don't mind uh, acting a fool. Okay, let's see who's in this environment of 
uh, you getting to choose what you want and who you want at your table. So a 14 is rolling up, so um, we have to add a 1 and a 4 together. We get 5, so there could be a Leo here uh, involved in this situation. Okay, Capricorn, thanks for uh, joining me for this reading about uh, who's coming to sit at your table. It looks like very much you're cutting out the people that uh, you don't want, just the people that you love to hang out with. All right, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you for next week's reading. Please like, subscribe, or share if you enjoyed this. Bye.